Cowboy Bebop first photos from the Netflix live action adaptation are in and they are looking good. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not trying to get my hopes up here, but the photos, you know, the characters look good and the actors look good. Thus far, thus far, it is very convincing. And man, I'm having some flashbacks of Cowboy Bebop, you know, that jazz music, <laughs> that jazz music they used to play in Cartoon Network in the opening. I think it's time to blow this thing, get everybody in the stuff together. Man, so let's go, guys. Let's talk about it. Hello guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video, okay? Enjoy. What is up guys, this is your boy Andy Majors, welcome to Andy RCB, where I talk about anime, uh, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture, and today we're going to talk about Cowboy Bebop and the, live the photos of the live action. So, just a quick... Um, you know, just a quick summary. Uh, so, Cowboy Bebop was basically a space western. Yes, a space western. It was one of the few animes where, like, it was inspired by, you know, western culture. Uh, because in Cowboy Bebop, you know, you see all kinds of characters. It's actually very diverse. Uh, originally, it was actually very diverse. Uh, you even see, like, <laughs> a Mexican in Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty it's awesome it's awesome for 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 an anime of the back in the two thousands you know you don't you didn't you didn't see that a lot like we do now but anyways let's go ahead and take a look at these photos and the first one that we're gonna take a look at is Jet Black now I know what some people are thinking the original Jet Black was not um of that skin color let's just say and honestly it does not bother me it does not bother me because I think. The actor, he, he looks the part. He looks the part and it looks like he's just by the look of it. I'm just judging by the looks. It looks like he's going to do a pretty good job because, you know, the way Jet Black used to be and, you know, the portrayal of, of Jet Black, it seems like this, you know, this actor just fits the part, you know. And uh, if you go to Spike Seagull's photo here, with John Cho, if you guys remember him from Harold and Kumar, go to White Castle, that a movie from the 2000s. <laughs> I love that movie. John Cho looks good. I mean, he he's he looks like Spike, on point, on point. Uh, I just hope that he knows how to fight. I mean, I ha I did see him fight in um in the Star Trek movie, but you don't usually see him in a lot of martial arts movies. That being said, I mean, he looks he he looks the part. He looks the part. The outfit looks good. The the the, uh, the blazer with the yellow undershirt, man, and he's even got a little cigarette. He's holding a little cigarette too. I mean, Spike Seagull just looks great. I mean, it looks like it looks better than if somebody were to cosplay him in an anime convention. And when that happens, you know that the directors and and the and the uh, the people behind the movie they're doing a, they're doing a good job. I mean, come on. Uh, so he looks he looks above cosplay level in my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel, but whatever your thoughts are, please leave a comment below. Now this can be a little controversial with Faye Valentine. Okay, Faye Valentine. Uh, some people are gonna have mixed feelings for the simple fact that they're covering her up, and this is just another another censorship that they're having because if you guys see the original design. Uh, you know, the original character, Faye Valentine, the anime, she was this girl. She's She wasn't, like, walking around naked, but she was very revealing. She was walking around with booty shorts and, you know, a lot of cleavage, you know, showing, you know, showing a lot of cleavage there. So here, they went ahead and cover her up. Of course they were going to do this. Of course. It's Netflix, and I'm guessing it's one of their requirements when you're pitching a show. Don't over-sexualize, th you know, these girls. Because if it's for if it's for a crowd, if it's for an audience where the majority the majority of the audience is male, then they're gonna censor the girls. They they do that on purpose, you know. 
back in the day in the 90s 2000s they didn't they didn't used to do that but now they're you know they they gotta cover up the girls because of reasons you know feminism <coughs> excuse me feminism <coughs> sorry guys I, I got something stuck in my throat <coughs> i need a drink of water uh, so if we look at this next shot here of Spike, basically, this is like Spike's back. It's, he's inside the spaceship. He's inside the spaceship, and the, for just looking at the image, man, they are selling this good. They are selling this really good. It looks really good, okay? I might just watch a few episodes. I know they're probably going to mess it up with, like, some of the identity politics, political correctness. And this and that and all these other things that they that they always do to mess up, you know, TV shows and movies. You guys know what I'm talking about. But thus far, it looks really good. I might watch at least the first episode, second episode. And then you see them here uh, on the couch. They're, they're still in the spaceship, I believe. They're still in the spaceship. And Faye, you know, Faye's doing her, her typical pose. And, of course, they got to cover up her legs because of reasons. Uh, you know, these... <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 kind of like they it's kind of like they're doing that to like oh no well guys are gonna like you know masturbate to this you know we we better censor her you know cover her legs do this and that do that you know don't let her show too much cleavage. <laughs> oh man, I, and, and that's one of the things that's gonna make me not watch it. Just just the fact that they did that. Uh, not so much for um, Jet Black, you know, being being played by an African American. Uh, he, I actually think he looks the part. He looks the part, and John Cho as Spice Siegel looks really good. Um, so just by just by the photos alone, I don't know how the story is gonna be, but just by the photos alone, it looks it looks very convincing, and I think it's it's it looks good enough of a Netflix show that makes me want to watch at least the first episode. At least, you know, because you know what's happening nowadays with all these movies and TV shows, guys. It's always being ruined for whatever reason. And here we see in this photo, we see Spike Siegel walking, uh, walking amongst the, you know, the benches of a in, in a church. I don't remember what episode this is, but uh, yeah, it looks really good. And man, um, this is going to be action packed. Remember, Cowboy Bebop was action packed with martial arts, guns, all that, all that stuff, you know. I'm surprised they didn't censor the gun, for God's sakes. <laughs> you know how it is. I'm surprised they didn't censor the gun for whatever reason. Um, anyways, so this is looking really good. Uh, I might watch it. Uh, those far is very convincing. Um, but like always, they're going to do something to the story to mess it up. They're going to change the script. You know, they're going to like try to take things from the original, change it up and you know, just expect it. Expect it. It's 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 been happening way too much. It's been happening in comic books. It's been happening in TV shows. You know, especially with Marvel and DC. It's been happening all over. You know. Also, also expect to see an LGBT character in there, even though there really wasn't one in the original Cowboy Bebop. But they're gonna throw it in there. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you money out of my pocket that they're going to do that. Because that is the time that we're living in. What is up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at ndrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed, everybody. Godspeed.